So team, keep it clean. One thing that the Ravens been doing this offseason, they've been giving people what they've been asking for. They've really been doing it. People have been asking for them to really go in at the wide receiver position. What they do, they did it. People have been asking for them to move on and head in a different direction at offensive coordinator. What they do, they did it. And people have been asking them recently, Ravens need to sign a corner. 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 What they do, they did it. Welcome aboard, Jordan Swan. But before we get into this video, I love y'all. I hope y'all are doing very, very good. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, though. Subscribe so you don't miss nothing. Next week, especially, I mean, turn notifications on just in general. But next week, if you are in the Baltimore area, make sure the notification is turned on and you pay close attention to the channel. But anyway, we'll talk about that later. Now, back to the uh, message uh, at hand. Jordan Swan. Um, I tried to look up something on Jordan Swan. I couldn't find any game film or anything. I couldn't even find highlights or anything like that. Um, but just reading, uh, it says Jordan Swan is an undrafted free agent. Uh, he went to James Madison University. Uh, and while he was there, so he had 24 tackles, two interceptions, two sacks, and one forced fumble last season in 11 games. So the Ravens really must have liked what they saw from him. Maybe he recently had a trial with the Baltimore Ravens, um, and they, they really liked him. So they brought him on. They're like, hey, we, we can never have enough corners. Usually uh, we see at different positions, uh, usually a linebacker. A linebacker, it happens sometimes on a defensive line. It happens as well. The undrafted guys, undrafted guys that will end up making a team. Um, but could it happen at the cornerback position? Ooh, that would be, that would be tough. That would be real tough. But anyway, um, some of the cornerbacks that the Ravens have right now, uh, in Pro Football Talks, Mike Florio, he listed them. He said Marlon Humphrey, yeah. Rock Yassine, yeah. And those are the two outside starting cornerbacks. Uh, Brandon Stevens, even though uh, the John Harbaugh earlier said that he's going to be focusing a lot more uh, at safety this year. We'll see if that changes, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, Jalen Alma Davis, uh, Kevon Seymour. Uh, Trayvon Mullen, Trayvon Mullen, Lamar Jackson's cousin, that's one that I oftentimes I forget about a lot that he's on the team, but he's somebody that's looking to, to make a name for himself, and this, this really could be that opportunity, especially if he's like, hey, hey, like, hey, Lamar, tell them boys about me, man, tell, tell the coaching staff, tell them boys about me, tell, tell them, tell them, tell them, and Lamar could then put them on, and they could be like, all right, Trayvon Mullen, you starting, Lamar let us know, but anyway, uh, and, and then they also got Pepe Williams, uh, and Caillou Blue Kelly. Uh, and did I, did I say Kevon Seymour? I think I did, but if I didn't, Kevon Seymour. So it, it's going to be some competition. I think one of the biggest positions that people are looking at right now for the Ravens at cornerback uh, is probably that slot corner position. Who is going to man the slot? Uh, you know they did a little bit of mixing and matching there last year. Then Kyle Hamilton, he was there a lot last year. You, of course, you can move Marlon Humphrey in and out. There's some people that prefer Marlon Humphrey as an outside corner. There's a lot of fans that I've seen in the comments section. They prefer Marlon Humphrey as an inside corner, as a slot corner. So you got options. Now, um, when I was talking with my guy uh, KO yesterday, uh, Kevin Ostriker from Locked On Raven, he made a really, really good point that I really hadn't thought about because we were talking about the possibility of the Ravens bringing back of Marcus Peters, and, and I asked him, like, like where would he fit? Where, where would you put him at? And he talked about how the Ravens before, they, they've done it where they've had a rotation at the cornerback position. And I was like, oh, you're right. You're right, because they've done it with, like, Marcus Peters and Marlon Humphrey and Jimmy Smith, uh, with Brandon Carr and Marlon Humphrey and Jimmy Smith. Uh, and there have been other cornerback trios and whatnot, outside cornerback trios, too, that they've done that with. So that's a possibility. And again, the, the, with Marcus Peters, if, if, big if, they were to bring him back, uh, it would take a lot, for, I, in my opinion. I mean, we don't know what's going on in his head, but it would take a lot, I think, for him to be willing to accept a role like that. But what, is it, what are his options? We don't know. We don't know what his options are. Or really any other cornerback that they bring, well, not necessarily any other cornerback that they bring in, but... If they were to go uh, get another cornerback, um, especially a veteran cornerback, excuse me, not just any cornerback, but a veteran cornerback who's been a starter, uh, it will take a lot for him to, it could take a lot, depending on who it is, it could take a lot for them to be willing to accept a role like that. But I did appreciate my guy Kevin uh, bringing that up. But anyway, 
Team Keep It Clean. Uh, again, Ravens fans, they, they got exactly what they asked for. They asked for more cornerback help, asked for more secondary help. The Ravens say, hey, we got our ears plugged to everybody, and we listening to y'all, and we giving y'all exactly what you've been asking for. So there you go.